This video game review contains dicks, boobies, nudity, and badly sex scenes. If you're offended by any of these, stop watching this video now because nobody likes a bitch. Not even your bitchy mom. Mystique is one of those few video game companies that try to sell pornographic games on Atari 2600. Each game came in great big boxes and nice leather case. Now, I don't like the idea of owning pornographic material, but I find this very amusing because you really have to use your imagination to get anything from this game. If I can't get a boner from playing this game, I can't see how anyone can. You really must be lonely to get anything from this. Well, enough about this. Let's play Custom Revenge. Custom Revenge is what most people remember from Mystique. Your General Custard, who is a knockoff from George Armstrong Custard. I really don't know much about him, but he's important for some reason. Anyway, your goal is to have sex with the Indian girl across the screen. But to get to her, you have to dodge arrows by moving Custer left and right with your joystick. If you get hit by the arrows, the screen will flash and you'll lose a life. Once you get to the Indian girl, you have to press down the button to fuck her. Be careful, the arrows can still hit you. So move custom before you get hit. Fuck the Indian girl 50 times and you get an extra life and the gameplay will go faster. Then you'll repeat the process. Next is Bachelor Party. Bachelor Party pretty much plays like Breakout. Except this game you play sideways. Instead of a ball, you get a horny guy. Instead of a box, you get slutty girls. And last, instead of a paddle, you get a Spanish fly. I don't even know what that Spanish fly is, but in the manual it says that paddle thing is called a Spanish fly. Anyway, back to the game. Like I said before, this game plays a lot like Breakout. But in Breakout, there's like so many blocks to destroy, but in this game, it's sort of like only eight naked slutty women. I'm not saying this game is no fun, but I had a lot more fun playing this game than Custer Revenge. Anyway, to play this game, you're required to have a paddle control to take control of the Spanish fly. Use the Spanish fly on the horny guy to make him bounce off. If you miss the horny guy, you lose a lot. But miss the slutty girls and hit the other side of the screen, he will move rapidly fast. Once all girls are clear, you get an extra life and new rows of girls. Okay, one last game. Beat em and eat em. Beat em and eat em. Huh. How is this an X-rated game? It sounds violent. You beat them and I eat them? Sounds disgusting. I mean, the front cover of the box shows a girl eating an ice cream cone. Well, let's pop this game in and find out why it's X-rated. Oh, I see. Beat them and eat them. Ah. Oh. This is so long. Why would a FEMA do that? And why would someone jack off off that building and let a female... Oh. Oh, man. Let's get this review over with. This game also requires you to have a power control in this game. You have to press down to make him, well, to jack off so stuff can come out. This is just wrong. Then use the wheel to move the two naked chicks to get stuff in their mouths. But don't miss them. If you do, the naked chicks will stop moving and you lose a life. But
but there is a way to get an extra life by catching 69 stuff in the mount. But if you do this, the game will go a little faster. Well, that's it, Miss D Trilogy. You guys probably know, but these games did not sell well. Yeah, they're X-rated and they're not all that fun, but there's more to it than that. The Native Americans and the women rights were offended by custom revenge. Which I don't get. Nobody got hurt, so what is so offensive about this game? Nothing! It says a cowboy fucking an Indian girl. What is so offensive about that? I'm sure it happened back then. Well, I'm done talking about this because there's really nothing offensive about this game. Well, there is another reason why these games didn't sell well was because of the video game crash that happened in 1983. So yeah, not only the stores wouldn't take these games because they were X-rated, but they wouldn't take them because they had to do something with video games. And back in 1983, most stores didn't want to do with anything with video games. So yeah, due to a mystique situation, they had to sell the rights to the games to play around. For those who don't know PlayAround, PlayAround is another X-rated company that sold X-rated games on Atari 2600. Eventually I'm going to review their games, but right now I don't have all their games, so that has to wait. Well, thank you for watching my video. This is Video Game Hunter, and until next time, goodbye.